Well, welcome to the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. I'm here at a fishery, never been here before. It's called Conwood Fishery. It's got one, two, three lakes, a match, match uh, sort of riverized section, I'm going to call it. And um, I think there's about a kilometer or something of match fish in there. It's got a specialist catfish water, it's got some big catfish in there. It's got some big carp in another water. And it's got this big lagoon here, which is, how can I describe it? Imagine it's a sort of river, but it's not a river. It's a long strip of lake. And then below there for a long way is the match section. And then there's a sort of pinned in section here. Now, as so guys, it's going to be noisy. There's planes, I'm on the flight path, I'm right next to Heathrow, I'm right next to the M4 motorway over there. It's going to be a shouting session, but listen, this, I have got the chance to fish here. I think there's only been one other guy's fished it, and it's just about to open. They said, would I like to have a go there before I go on the Catfish Lake? Hot blazing day, rarity in itself. Obviously, I refused. No, I've taken it with both hands. All I'm going to be using is lunch of meat, I'm not sure. I'm going to put my polarizing glasses on, walk around, see if I can spot the odd fish. I'm either going to use a very, very fine float, float fishing, or I'm just going to free line and see if I can't pick a carp off. It's windy, so we've got jets from Heathrow, we've got the M4 motorway, and we've got wind in the mic. Plus, I've got a new microphone for the GoPro. Fingers crossed, I get to show you guys some action. Unfortunately, the first thing is I've got to have something to eat. I started really early, it's five past two, I've been walking around the fishery with Josh, and yes, got sidetracked, haven't eaten anything. I'm gonna force myself to eat some food because I know once I spot a fish, it's over and done with. I think I got about six bites out of that sandwich before I saw a carp. And the rest went down in one lump and I'm just gonna try and guzzle some tea because I know once I put polarizing glasses on, I'm gonna be spotting fish here and it's gonna be driving me mad. I've particularly seen some form of movement just down in front of those rushes there. One, two little, they're just little humps or movements. I say I've never been here before. I don't know the hot spots of the fishery, anything like that. Man, it's got the hot spot today with the sun. 24 degrees. Is this England? We should put brandy in this, I should think. Right, got the grub in the tum. I'm rigged up here with, uh, well, it's a spinning rod actually. I'll tell you what it throws. It throws, it's a nine foot rod. It says medium action, 20 to 60 grams. Spiral carbon wrap construction. I'm more into destruction myself. But anyway, there's the rod. A hook, I'm gonna put a piece of lunch of meat on there. I'm head cammed up, so fingers crossed. Down there, I've already seen a couple. Now I've put polarizing glasses on, I've actually seen a couple of cruisers. It's colored water, so I can't quite see how big the fish are. But you know, they say there's nothing under 10 pounds in there, we'll find out. Um, I'm gonna work my way down this bank, because the light's behind me. Always try and get the light behind you when you're looking, you'll get the best chance of spotting a fish. I say, I've only got really a couple of hours on here. Um, if I can't see one, I don't really fancy sitting non-stop. But if I can move around, I might just pick off a fish or two. So I love visual stalking fish. Oh, I did see some fish moving down here, so I'm just going to try a single piece and get that hook off. Who's stolen the hook? No, I'm going to try just free lining a piece of luncheon meat down here. I did see some movement on the surface, of course, I've seen a couple out there, but I didn't bring any uh, surface baits with me, so I'm just gonna check my drag, and if I see one, I'm gonna creep along here and just try and sort of lower it or drop it on their nose. The fish I saw were just milling around around those uh, dead rushes, and I don't see anything there now, Gonna work my way downstream. There I think is one over the back there. Yes, that's a fish. I don't know where it's gonna take. I'm just gonna drop it now. I'm gonna watch the line pull. I've no idea what it's gonna be like. I've, my gut feeling is maybe I should be using a very, very small float. But I'm just gonna let that sit there for a second. See if they smell it. So lunch of meat's got some uh, fatty smells coming off it. Fingers crossed, we might be able to get lucky here in the middle of a hot afternoon and actually pick a fish off. I would expect it to pick up by now. Let's go and move maybe down by the edge of those rushes. Quite a breeze going through here, so that makes it difficult for spotting as well. And it's, a, it's like a, a muddiness just in here. I wonder if they are actually on the bottom there. 
I'm going to ease this in slowly with lunch of meat. You can see, just swing it in, use the bait over and over again. There's another, oh, that's a big fish, man. That is a big ass fish there. Oh, he turned off it. <laughs> that was a big fish. Buddy, that was, a, look at the bow wave going back there. That was a big double figure fish, if not larger. Just dropped it on his nose. He went right up to it. And as happens in life, refused it. There's a little slick back there. That's where the fat came off of the piece of lunch of meat I dropped in there. You can just see it going back over there. Hopefully you might, if I hold the camera very still, you might be able to see it. I think I'm going to move along, see if I can spot another one, because he nearly took that on the drop. There's another fish just there coming in. Very close. Oh, he's right on top of me, he's here. That one's gone close to it. I had nothing here, but I'm going to work. I can see fish, that's the thing. I can see fish just down there. I can't, can't quite make out which direction they're travelling in because it's uh, slightly coloured. Oh, there's one. Just down there, guys. I'm going to use this wood here to hide by, and I'm going to lower it on his nose. There. He's digging around for it. I have a feeling maybe I should be using a small float for bite indication rather than feeling the line through my fingers. Now he's stirred the bottom up, so maybe he's digging around looking for it. Wow, he stirred that up big time. I think he was looking for it. Oh, I guess I'm seeing fish all over now, guys. Oh, I had a pull. I had definitely had a pull then. I think I'm going to move my gear further down. Although I'm walking around, there's no designated swims while I'm here. They're building all these. You can see these are all made out pre-made swim platforms. Some of you guys who go to the carp waters, you'll recognise these, and then they fill them all, I guess, with scalpins or, um, not MDF, that's wood, MOD, I think they called it now. Um, you know, that's going to be your base for putting all your gear, so there will be designated swims around here. But at the moment, they're still getting it all prepared. Hopefully by the time you get this film, if we catch a fish, it'll all be tickety-boo. That looks like a cut out there for a swim. But I'm going to walk down that bottom end there. The wind's blowing in that corner as well, which is always sort of a traditional spot. Oh, I see one cruising towards me. Two cruising there. Shooting around pretty quick. Ideal sort of surface fishing water this to me. With that wind coming right to left like that. You'd think they'd be in this bay down here. And indeed they are, gents. Loads of them. And no tugs on the line whatsoever. Come on, come on, boy, come on. Oh, he pinged off. Well, one to the fish, nil to me. Tiny tap, and that was it, the fish gone. Hope I bought enough lunch of meat. Let's put a cube on there. And I guess I've got to try that same corner down there again. I've got to pick up this time, guys. A fish on. See if we can get lucky this time. Didn't feel a bad one. Didn't actually see it, just felt the tug on the line. I'll settle for anything. First time on a new water. Oh, 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 nice big common. A nice big common. 
blue sky, fish on the end. Couldn't ask for more, could you? Might preempt things by unrolling the mat here. But listen, and that was down to my last piece of luncheon meat on that trip. So I must have missed about four. Let's get him in. Come on, babe. You can do it. We only want a photograph of you, that's totally awesome. Don't like it when they twang around, he's in. It's too late, he's in. Good show. Well, well. All these will be in swims by the time you see the film, hopefully. There's the hook, which will fall out like that. As you can see, he's nice and thick across the back. If I pick him up quietly, he might lay still, he might not. Let's give him some tonic immobility. Okay. There we go. Great looking fish. Chunky, fat belly on it. Let's get him straight back. Well guys, I'm, uh, I'm not getting any luck getting you shots of the fish moving in there close. So, I'm going to try, that's the other end of the match lake, you can see there's a, there's a, 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 a grill there. So that's, that's keeping the big fish in this section. And I'm going to come back to this one, but I'm going to, oh there's a fish there, see I keep seeing fish move. I keep seeing them move through there, he says, tying it in the net. A piece of luncheon meat. Just like this, just just there, just a regular piece of lunch of meat, free lining. I'm still thinking maybe I should have had the float, but oh, I can see a fish there, yeah. I'm just gonna swing this out. I'm just gonna, oh, there's a big fish there. Oh, that was a beauty. He's still there, he's still there, guys. He's down there in that mud. I don't know if you're gonna see that. Well, he stirred it up there. Digging and digging. I think he's spooked and just humped, humped the water, you know, shot away. There's, there's two fish there. You probably won't see it, but see that's what I call a secondary ripple? That's not normal. And there's a swirl under there. Obviously digging in the mud up this end of the, uh, end of the lake. And I've just got that finger held literally lying across my finger like that, just held there, just here like that just so I can feel any tugs. Bam, strike immediately. I've got three or four bits of lunch meat left there. Let's chuck my old baby changing mat in there. Oh God, look at that tail. I just turned around and I've just seen a huge gold tail. Right in there, I've, I've just got to, I'm very, very impatient. I've got to be on, honest with uh, visual fishing. I've just got to sit there and wait for that line to pull tight across my finger there. That was a lovely looking fish, big gold tail. Oh, we've got a hook up boys, got to hook up. Got to hook up mirror. I don't think that was the bigger fish I, I saw with the tail up, but hey ho, do we care? And the answer to that is no. Oh, you guys are getting this action. I, I just knew there was a fish in there. Let's get up here with the net. Mr. Matt's ready. Get myself all prepped up. Wow, it's going well. Going well at close range. There he comes. There he comes. Get the net partially sunk. He's not done yet. I'll tell you what, this rod absolutely ruins them. They just can't seem to handle it. He's in. He is in the net, boys. It's game over for him, and I think that looks like, oh yeah, fish of the day. Where's the hook gone? It's in the net. There's the hook, that was lucky, guys. Hook fell out. Look at that one. That is a very chunky fat carp across the back. Nice looking, behaving yourself well. Well pleased with that one. Probably wrecked something else. And a face full as well. I like it. Okay, well guys, I've uh, moved just up through that channel where the grill is and I'm coming up here, which is the one, two, three, four, five pegs on the match lake here. 
and I've only just got to this end. Now this is where the wind is blowing down here, look like this. And I can, I, I've seen carp moving in here. Now how spooky they are, I don't know. But they were very, very close in down here. And there over the back is the motorway. And there looks like is uh, the chicken farm. So I'm just going to have a walk along there. I've seen a small one down there. You won't see that, I don't see it with that lens. I just never walk along because I did see a really halfway decent shape there. These swims are still being prepared. You can see that. Oh my god, I see a fish down here. Right down there. Whether he's going to take it, I don't know. He's gone, he's turned, he's spooked, man, he's spooky. And then there's another one right over the back there, but I don't think I'll reach out by the lilies. That's a good fish as well. Too short, too short. Yeah, so what they do is they fill all these out, I guess, with either soil or uh, some other material. There's another good fish over the back there. Oh, I missed that one big time, I missed him. I was too fast on the cast, or the strike as it was. Just trying to keep my luncheon meat cool here. There's another one working his way. Up here that I did see. There he is. Right there. Wow, spook man, he went off like a missile. Anybody think he was launched from NASA control? Well, the motorway over the back here is absolutely roaring. I don't know if you're going to get any of the uh, wind in the microphone and everything else. I always like shallow ends like this. I always fancied having a look in a shallow end of any lake. You never know. Sometimes it's, uh -huh. what have I said? Right in the corner, in amongst the lilies over there, there is a single fish moving around. Really, I possibly need a, a float for that one, but we'll have a throw up there. Find out what we can have, what will happen. Spooked. That's what happened. A spooky. Oh no! Don't go in there. And I think I'll go in that uh, main pool and see if any of those fish are showing again, because the wind's fairly constant. So I tend to think they're gonna come down this end of the fishery more, you know, this end of the, uh, of the lake more. It's all a hunting game for me today. A learning game, a learning curve, and a hunting game. Oh, there's one right in the mud. That's those ones I saw earlier. Now, they are so far in those rushes. Spooky as heck, man. Spooky as heck. There's my bait, untouched. Ordinarily, I'd fancy my chances at those. But I'm looking in that corner over there, and then I'm going to work around to the big pool again. Well, hooked up again. Bit of a twangy sort of fight. I think this one I saw as a common. I might be wrong with you, Mirror. He's going well, digging and digging and digging. Might actually be fish of the day, eh? Yeah, that's a common, yeah, I got it right. Well, wow, some good old fish in this lake for sure. Let's get the net organised. Here he comes. Do you know, we've done quite a few films with these pen rods, those short ones you see, and it's been amazed how quick you can get fish in with a short rod and this is only nine foot rod it's a spinning rod for goodness sake and it just seems to be doing the job superbly and last night I had catfish on it so much for having special catfish rods or special carp rods I mean it, the rod is a rod is a rod now I feel this fish is 12 he might he's certainly getting 11s a little bit more drag there. 
it's going well but when we do find that commons do seem to scrap a bit better than the mirrors he's in anyway nice looker though I'd say he goes sort of bordering 10 isn't it it's bordering 10 pounds that one it's one of those that you put it on the scale and it goes somewhere between nine and three quarters and ten and a half lovely big paddle tail on it let's get him back there we go brilliant well four carp from a lake I've never even fished before in a couple of hours I, do you know what I'm tempted to go and push my luck on that catfish lake and just give it a go rather than sit here just carping all the time I wonder if it's where the saying comes from carping on all the time there's only so many carp you can catch I might might call it quits the trouble is if I see another carp I've got, a, I've got a cast for it, it's just the way it is, isn't it guys? You know what it's like out there. Yeah, if I see another carp cruising or swimming, I'll probably have a go for it. So I've had four, probably a couple of them, doubles, might be low doubles. I've seen a couple of bigger ones. It's very, very cagey, but I can't grumble, I've got a bit. I think I'm going to have one actually a bit of movement up there I think I have one more swing out here and see if I can't get one more carp out of it I told you I'm going catfishing and yet I've seen some ripples here so I know there's something moving around these margins but I see the mud there the catfish will have to wait for a minute there could be there could be a 20 in there with my name on it Just a big piece of lunch for me. I normally pull the hook out, but I'm going to leave it there for so it, it strikes. Now I've, I was fishing up there. It's different here now, so I've got to back that drag off. She's going to creep in and lower on a fish if I see one, which I don't at the moment. Isn't it marvellous? Every time you uh, think you see a fish, there's not one there, and then you walk away and you see a swirl or a fish jump or something move. You go back with the rod and reel, nothing. I think we're just going to chance it because there's definitely been something digging around this end. See, there's another little ripple up there. Let's switch off for a second. Now, what's that up there? See the ripples, guys? I'm trying to keep as still as I can. When you're visually fishing, you're looking for the slightest difference in the water movement. It could be a telltale sign. See, now I've walked up here. Maybe they feel my vibrations, even though I'm low down. I don't see a fish. I like to see some form of movement. So show me which end is the head and which end is the tail. I might just check that out first. Yeah, there's one. There's one in close. Where's he gone? I'm banking on him turning left. He's right up under those bushes. lost him now I don't want to move too much as I spook him he was absolutely cruising along underneath the edge of that overhang about a foot off the bank but I've lost him now I see him I see him is he near my bait is he not near my bait he's dead dead static I feel he might be looking at the bait no he's moved I'm going right in there oh man that is in there that is actually hanging up on the surface. Dare I tweak it? Okay, now it's sinking, lunch of meat's sinking. It's on the bottom, I've lost the fish, great. There's that mud, guys, there's that mud. Just down there, look, 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 look. Look. And there's two there, there's one a big one. Here we go, he must have seen that. Spooked, man alive, he was a spooky fish. That was one spooky carp. Back again, he's back again. Now yeah, he's spooky again. Oh, there's more than one down there. I got a liner, bumped, struck and missed.
It's a good fish, guys. Well, listen, they're all good fish. Right down there, you can see by those uh, rushes. I think this, every fish I catch is fish of the day. I just had one last walk down to the match lake. Put it on his nose and he had it. Oh, he pinged off. That was a big fish, it's about 14 that one I'd say. On again guys. And these look fairly new swims, these where they've been cut out here. Don't know the size of this one. Let's get my mat up here. Another common. Kicking and bashing on that rod top. And if you're beginners, always try to keep the rod top up high because that's your shock absorber. Stops you breaking it and obviously breaking the line. But obviously you want to get the uh, fish in the net. Make sure your, your drag is set here. So fish can take line when it wants to. I'm sure these carp all know that they're going to return. Lump time guys, lump time. It's good fish this time. This one's a double, for sure. Certainly digging and stirring up the bottom. Tough rod this one. That's a good fish on it. Should get this one, no problem. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Well, had a common, now I've got a mirror, I guess this fish might go, come on calm down, don't get my lovely green jumper covered in slime, it's not very slowly, it's certainly frisky in it, I will say that, and there we go, look at the big paddle tail on that one, this is obviously some nice carp in here, free line lunch of meat, do you know what, he put his nose down on the bottom, he took ages, ages to actually tweak the line and take it, making my mess. Come and see Where have you been off to now? Well, I've come down from the cart lake now. I'm on the catfish lake. And you can see down here, I've got a couple of rods thrown out there. The same rods as I was using. And I've got um, free line lunch of meat on there with uh, just a, a light shot. Just to try and keep it in place in this breeze that's blowing there. And there's plenty of anglers around her. Well, there's probably... 15 or so anglers fishing. So, popular spot. I'm just going to see if I can finish off after getting all those carp with a nice big catfish. Chance to be a fine thing, wouldn't it? Got quite a big piece of lunch of meat and I'll put it on with a baiting needle. So, if I do get a fish, I'll show you how I was doing it. But until I catch a fish, I won't, uh, I won't be showing it. It's a secret. Pleasant little spot. I still hear the motorway though. Days made. 